Nice. Alright, so welcome everybody to part two of this Shebreak leveling, right? We're leveling with Gardens of the Imperium <laughs> and the Mon Montar Trap, right? Nice. Um, yeah. That's not gonna become a Guardian or Mortar Purifier or like Shebreaker later. This is purely like a leveling spec. And that's kind of a scuffed leveling spec as well, as you can see right now, because we are missing actually. We're missing stuff, right? We're missing Lightning and Chorus. Like, what the hell am I supposed to do here? Alright, like using Triple Aether to fix that. Um, I mean, Shibreaker doesn't give you like any rest, right? It's kind of a scuffed class, to be honest. I mean, this literally fixes it, right? Like, just doing this change fixes everything, right? I would lose the, the Fizzerness though, but just don't get hit by physical attacks, right? Maybe that's an idea. Alright, so let's just start here, right? Um, what do we do last? Uh, we always go into the setter, right? That's like the first thing you always do in Ultimate here nowadays. There we go. Yo, Thiefiness, welcome on. Welcome on, welcome on. Hope you had some more fun um, playing Grim Dawn the other day. Oh my god. And ultimately, this character is gonna be a little bit squishy, right? I mean, just like any local leveling build, it's gonna be a little squishy, but I will. We'll somehow manage, like, just don't get hit, right? The video you're watching is about a cartoon about carbon emissions in Kyoto Protocol. Specifically how people export it, how people like buy stuff as well to like be able to imitate more and stuff like that I guess. <laughs> Grim Yorno hype. <laughs> Yo, Naomi, welcome on, welcome on. That Nicolas face is a face I haven't seen in quite some time. Did you get a gifted sub or? Yo, Toma, look one, look one. Cartoon emissions, yeah. Imagine being able to read, right? Imagine being able to read. Go through the base game without dying. Nice. Congrats, congrats. So you basically beat the tutorial, right? <laughs> I mean, still, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Gotta give it up, easy. Nice. It's actually good to like see a couple more people like stream this game again like in recent weeks or days. I think the Steam server sale did bring quite some new people to the game. It's pretty nice, pretty nice. I mean the game is such a gem to be honest, like you can play it casually, play it as a, I don't know, like invest more than 4000 hours into the game like I have or, I don't know, like play as you want basically, it's never gonna be boring. Unless you're like missing the super fast paced gameplay of Path of Exile. And uh, like, if you don't miss that, then you're gonna have like a lot of fun with this game. Alright, where we go? We go here and. Yo, Hanko Tank, welcome on. El Porvel, welcome on, welcome on. It's not like an MMO game where you have to follow the pace of the devs. It's not like the other three where you like can only play what like the devs want you to play, because like literally everything else is just garbage. Right? In this game, you have like so many things you can play. And, like it's build diversity is basically through the roof, I would say. It's kind of well balanced compared to at least some other RPGs. <coughs> Our last epoch. Good, you're back. Yo, Mr. Engineer. <laughs> uh, but the announcer is so scuffed for those emotes. Well, yeah, welcome back, man. How are you, man? Long time no see. Good to have you back. Let's go, woo.
You don't want to play a buff set with 30k more damage. So you have chosen zero DPS? Yeah. <laughs> they are three in a nutshell, right? Oops. I mean, Ali is... Ali just needs, like, I don't know, like, way more items, I feel like. And yeah, like, some broken stuff in Ali is... Like, broken for too long, I feel like, I don't know. I mean, they're, they're gonna nerf, like, the werebear interaction with the weird weapon that, like, lets the auto cast Earthquake, right, like, 100%, but... It's already, like, alive for one patch too many, I feel like. Like, why? Also, yeah, like, some skills in Last Epoch, they... Uh, I mean, in the end, it's kind of like you said, Illuminator, right? Like, you have all these, like, awesome skill trees in Last Epoch, and you have, like, lots of choice on paper, but then, like, when you actually look at the things, right, like, some nodes are just, like, so much better compared to others that, like, I don't know, like, even if you have, like, item support or, like, your build will support the other node more, I don't know, like, most of them you just can't use because, like, the others are way better. But I mean, there, there are some skills where you have some variety, actually, like, it's not true for all the skills. And I mean, yeah, in the end it's like a balancing issue, right, if they've just balanced it right, like, better than now at least, and it's not gonna be as bad. Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of where, like, end up realized, like, end up with Ali as well. Like, every single patch. Like, whenever there's a patch, right, I play it for quite some time. And then, I'm like super hyped, yeah, like, the game's awesome and everything, I mean, it's, it's still awesome. But, like, at some point I realized, yeah, balance is still, like, pretty bad in the game. I mean, I mean Grim Dawn balance and, like, Alpha was pretty bad as well, so... It's not like Ali... It's not gonna make it, right? Like, they still have time. I feel like some things when it comes to balance. Um, I mean, obviously, like, balance is not a top priority for a game like this, especially in this stage, like, in alpha stage, right? Or beta stage, whatever you want to call it, right? Or exit stage. But I feel like some balance issues are, like, taking too long. Like, taking them too long to fix, in a way. Alternative for the skills and playable. And it's not un unplayable per se, but it's like... I mean, it depends like what kind of content you want to do, right? And like, to be honest, most of the content right now in Dusty Park is just... very easy. Unless you go like, high corruption and empowered, or like you go to deep arena. But, I mean, then of course, like, it depends a lot on like which build you're playing, right? And like, only few builds can like, actually... Or, like, only a few variations of skills can, like, go that deep. <clears throat> LE, uh, Last Epoch. It's another ARPG, kind of like Grim Dawn, or... Uh, it's more like Path of Exile, I would say. Or, like, it's kind of, like, in, the, in between Grim Dawn and Path of Exile, in a way. When it comes to, like, pacing and skills, etc. But it's not, like, early access. High corruption mobs become HP and one-hit sponges. Oh, hello. So what you're saying is that the base skill set of like some of the enemies are like or is like not interesting enough. I don't know, I mean I think some enemies have like fine skill sets. I mean, many like many enemies in Grim Dawn aren't really like that much different either. To be honest, like many enemies in like every single RPG are like that. Though, right? I mean, sure, some of the like trolls or golems, if you're like kind of under gear, they can like, even like one shot you in the main campaign, right? Or like almost one shot you in the main campaign. At least an ultimate. I mean, yeah, also... 
I feel like arena pushing meta. I mean, I know, for example, that Lizard likes it. But, like, the meta for, like, high arena pushing, that basically the only viable builds are the ones that don't get hit on it. Like, you have to be a kiting god and, like, not get hit ever by anything. And that's how you kind of, like... Not die, right? And I don't know, I feel like... I mean, sure, that should be, like, one of the playstyles that are, like, good, but it shouldn't be the only way, right? I mean, Grim Dawn is a little bit the other way around, right? Like, Grim Dawn... I think it's maybe a little bit too hard to kite. And, like... For example, if the base movement speed was, like, a little bit higher, it would have been, like, a little bit easier to make, like, more ranged... Um, squishier builds. What the fuck is happening here, by the way? The mortars are, like, shooting, but they're not hitting us. What the hell is happening here? Hello? Um... Yeah, nice, nice game, right? <laughs> Fix your game great. Yeah, Grindel is kind of on the other spectrum. I mean... Not... I mean, I don't know. I feel like Grim Dawn's balancing is better than Last Epoch style right now. I mean, it should be, right? That's an older game. Like, actually on some, like, especially cooldown reduction kiting casters or like totem casters, you can play around like not getting hit very well. It's just like ranged gun builds for example, they just... No, they're, they're cocked, right? <laughs> for the most part of the list. Bug report. Not the totem. I think it's actually like has been happening to me a lot with that totem. Like this totem over here, the graveyard, right? Like it can spawn like an enemy in that corner very often. It's kind of annoying, yeah. Wonder what the game would look like if attack damage converted to health was eliminated. <laughs> we'll just see like, I don't know, Avenger set and Pirate set being like the most OP, I guess. Like, Pyron's set is very good with health gen as well, right? It's really good for health gen. But you gotta farm Golos? Yes, you gotta farm Golos. And farming Golos is a pain, indeed. There's always a chance you uninstall before you get the build. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't know, man. Like, they need to fucking increase the drop rate of the ring, like... I've been asking for this, like, three times already, I think. It's... They're not doing it, man. He's bad, man. And, like, the thing is, not too many people care, because, like... Most people that, like, provide feedback to create... And, like, create builds on the forum, they're just GD statues anyway, like, they don't care... ...about Golos ring drop rate. Like, they don't care as much, at least. Or like, they are maybe like, yeah, just farm is R, lol, right? Just farm is R a crucible to, like, get the ring. I mean, I guess valid argument, but... Valid point, right? Wait, where's the third fabric? We're missing one fabric here, what is this? Hello? Huh? Am I blind? Oh, there it is. Octopath soundtrack, Pog, Jam? Yeah. It's pretty nice. But yeah, I, I do actually need like more... Soundtracks again, like we've already been like through with all the soundtracks. Like we're listening to Octopath again, it's already the second time. I, mean, I don't mind it, but I think we still need like maybe 20 more soundtracks in there. Witcher 3. Oh yeah, we didn't do Witcher 3 yet, right? True, 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 true. It's actually in the list, I just didn't press it on the end.
But that's gonna be interesting. I feel like it's gonna be so squishy when I'm like level 85 to 94. <laughs> yeah, right. Jarrett, Jarrett. <laughs> Is he like uh, the review guy? Is he like a Swedish guy? Because like Swedish like to pronounce Jarrett that way. Or like any J sound they like pronounce as yeah, yeah instead of Jarrett. Mozart, just the Mozart and Bach and Beethoven, nice. and uh, Stravinsky, Tchaikovsky, right? That's a good as well. I mean, why not, right? Why not? Outward soundtrack. So we do the hardest content of Act 1 here, the totem? Let's do it. Right? Let's do it. Random stone treaders from a trash mob, okay. Why not, right? Why not? Actually, this is an easy spawn, right? I think it's an easy spawn, yeah. Seems like an easy spawn so far. Not, not enough golems, right? Did I say sloth lab? <laughs> no, fuck that, dude. <laughs> We're not going to the sloth lab. Why <clears throat> <laughs> viable? Why <laughs> able? The old tornado, work one, work one. Link two more RCs on Discord? Nice, thank you. Not enough charging? Yeah, we're not charging enough. Dale's X series has amazing tracks. Alright. By the way, should I start playing the solo self hunt character on Monday or Wednesday? Like, I mean, obviously I will need more time for this, and also like I still have to like do some stuff on the purifier, right? But I kind of want to play the SSF Witchblade as well. Transistor, obviously. Mm, not sure actually. Ah, I've been expecting you, human. Yo, Cancroft Colonel, welcome on, welcome on. Thanks for the Prime, man. Welcome on, welcome on. Thank you for your support. How are you doing? Also, seized. Welcome on, welcome on. Alright, um. Talk to this guy, right? Been there, done that. Seventy-five. We can actually change boots now, right? I mean, pants rather. Change pants. Oh, we didn't kill Milton Hart. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Good work. There have been Good work. Okay, let's change pants. Let's change to uh, the same pants, but mythical, right? Or like empowered rather. My uh, pierce dress is still horrible. Holy shit! 
Oh, that's so bad still. <clears throat> hmm. How do I even fix that? I'll give you a good price for what we've got left. Ah, we speak at last. Your tornado, thanks for the photos one. First sentence heard, let's change pants. Yeah, typical rector stream mode. <laughs> welcome on Migok, welcome and welcome on. Don't you original send two as nice OC two? Alright. Thanks for the content, watching now and then and love your YouTube content. Keep it up, mate. Yeah, thanks for watching as well. Glad you like it. Thank you for the support again. I was playing Grom Dawn from the beginning, just right now. And right now just have a chill time. I wanna play Reign of Terror mod, but just newer did mortal build because newer find the items for mortal. I mean plus one plus two. I have 38 100 creatures. By the way, nice to see content creators. Yeah, welcome in man. Um thanks for watching as well. Um So did you actually already play Reign of Terror or not? Like Kind of miss that part, I think. Everyone is spamming in music channel. I gotta read it though. I will read it after the stream. Yesterday you started Rain of Terror? Nice. How do you like it so far? My experience with Rain of Terror so far was, I would say, mixed. Um, it's a good mod, certainly, like, it's very, not very well done, but on the other hand, I, I'm not the, I'm not the biggest Diablo 2 fan, to be honest. I just like Rundon more, I don't know. <clears throat> and, I mean, I have played Diablo 2, and I'm like, yeah, if I want to play Diablo 2, I just play Diablo 2, right? If I want to play Grom Dawn, I just play Grom Dawn. The two together, I mean, it's cool and it's really well done, I think. It's just... I don't know. Maybe not my cup of tea. One percent good, nine ten percent bad. No, 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 no. It's not that bad, dude. Stop trolling. It's, like, actually really good. It's just, like, I personally don't like it as much. Too much Diablo in the mob? Mm, I don't know. I feel like I just I like vanilla Diablo 2 more than the Reign of Terror mod. So like it's not that it's like too much Diablo. I don't know. I mean, other people have enjoying it a lot as well, so like, it's not that I'm like... I don't know, like, maybe my judgement is scuffed on the mod. Maybe I haven't, like, played it properly. Maybe I'm just, like, salty because I died on hardcore, right? <laughs> maybe I'm just salty, I don't know. Or maybe I'm, like... Maybe I just, like... The Nidia Mar mod too much compared to Reign of Terror. Like Nidia Mar is, in my opinion, a better mod than Reign of Terror. I mean, both are great. But I, if I had to personally choose, I would choose Nidia Mar over um, Reign of Terror. He's actually an upgrade, right, for level eighty-two. Not the worst. <clears throat> The warden's defeat is a I pulled a Quinn 69. Died to the easiest boss. Oh, what? <clears throat> Why am I not talking to this guy? Hello? What am I doing? So you must die before we. Just wanna try it. Because everybody's talking about it. Maybe change person's opinion about game in a game, like the other two in Grim Dawn. Yeah. Ah, it's, it's good, I think. It's just... 
don't don't let my judgment um, determine whether or not you're gonna like the mod or not. Play the mod yourself, like make your own picture, right? Judge the mod for yourself. I don't think he did, no. He never visited Krundon again. Like, he played... He played Act 1, then like, Act 7, right? Up to, like, the second Bismir quest. Like, he didn't even get up to Vanguard, right? <laughs> and then he fucking died to... The Omega Easy Boss on normal, right? From the Bismarck quest line. And then he quit the game for good. He's bad man. I mean there should still be like a clip of it somewhere. I should not pick for mortal? Wait, what's what's mortal? That's like the part that I didn't understand. Because I think it's maybe like... It has maybe like a different name in your language, and you're translating it to mortal. But to me, I don't know what mortal is supposed to mean in that situation. Like, is it a class or a skill or... Or you mean mortal trap? Or you mean a trap? Like what I'm using? Like this one? Mortal trap, you mean? This one? Or maybe you're talking about mortal trap, right? Uh, I'm just like playing standard fire devotions right now, so like. Um, Solar's Witchfire, Magi, Torch, Ron's Crown, right? Just playing a uh, Mortar Trap. Yeah, more mo Tar with R in the end, right? <laughs> That's why I'm kinda confused. Does Divine Steel Hoberg uh, aura punt yourself? Yes. It's a pretty good, decent uh, just It's kind of like Fate Weavers. It's very similar. It's a little bit more. Uh, and overall, I would say it's like a little bit worse. But it's um, kind of like a Fate Weavers as well, yeah. It's 14% increased HP, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Try to not die to Mucolos Balthazar, right? Yeah, and, it, and it's a blueprint, right? If you get the blueprint, it's a very nice, like... Even budget chest to like use on pretty much any character. Gonna min max, I have a void projectile build now. Nice. No damage? Yeah. That's not the problem. Exactly, you found the problem. Police doesn't like fireworks. Maybe they like mortal traps. <laughs> I mean, I doubt they will. Oh, yeah, also, um, if you're like trying to play Mortal Trap in Rain of Terror as well, right? 
I don't know how easy it's gonna be for you to like get the soft hand, right? I basically rushed the soft hand on normal difficulty, right? To like uh, support my motor trap to have like three instead of um, only two, right? It's like a 33%, I mean 50% damage increase actually. So like the off hand is really, really strong. Peaceful bee killing music. Or wasp killing music around. Oh, I really should calm down. I still feel like we're missing in some damage, right? I mean, I only have. What is up? It's 21 points in Mortal Trap right now. It's not that many. And I tried to like go for Oathkeeper stats as well, but like, I don't know. We still need like another 5 for the Guardians to be 3. Like to have 3 Guardians. Feels bad, man. No Dargon, Wookman, Wookman. How many hours of Ancient Grove Shopkeeper spam do you think it would take you to get Unyielding of the Drangul Living Rain? I mean, it's literally anything between 1 and like 2000, right? Probably. Or even more. So good luck. By the way, for Vitality Conjurer leveling, is it better to use Bloody Pox in my dagger or the Warring Swarm in my dagger? Uh, I would personally use the Bloody Pox dagger because, like, the Bloody Pox dagger also adds resistance to right? Wait, wait, which which um, which swarm dagger are you talking about? Are you talking about Bone Spike or something else? Because, like, I think Bone Blade is certainly better than Bone Spike. But maybe you're talking about something else. Yeah, okay, you are talking about Bone Blade then. I mean, Bone Spike and Bone Blade, yeah. Yeah, I would go uh, Bone Blade. I would only go Bone Spike if you play Ravenous Earth. Yo, Hamil Car, welcome on, welcome on. Yeah, I found the trunks. Yeah. Yo, loop and wrecked by league. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. Saturday late stream? I mean, why not, right? Why not? Why not? I don't really have a schedule at the weekend, so... Why not, right? Why not? Mal, welcome on. Oh, shit. Only not played has permanent avoid. Um, yes. I think so. I mean, it's literally only not played on Demolitionist, right? That have a void at all. But, like, Demos is only on Blast Shield, so it's kinda. I mean, obviously not permanent.
The Wrath of Tenebrous. Pretty cool chaos weapon, not gonna lie. Ancient Grove Shop spell. Uh, not like this. <laughs> Are you still playing LA, Rector League? Or back to League, League of Legends? Or maybe even back to Grim Dawn, but I guess you're not playing outside of the season. Wait, did you even like play last season? LA, LOL, and State of Decay 2 with your brother. Nice. No more Grim Dawn at the moment for you. Are you gonna play with season 3? You should. I think you've like taken a long enough break, right? I mean, yeah. Taking a break every now and then is certainly good to do. Might play season 3, that's... Nice. It's kind of funny to play Mortar with Shieldbreaker. It's better than on Power Master, because like you can, additionally to like your um, movement augment right from your relic, you can also use Virus Smite to just like cut around and never get hit. I mean, the don't get hit right strategy does actually like still work against like most of the mobs here in the main campaign. Like it starts to be more and more difficult later on. Where's the bubble? Oh, it's going down now. Bubble down. <laughs> League of Legends one. Uh, you uninstalled it. <laughs> Did they break the game this season? Everything deals too much damage. Never had an identity. Ah, uh, mm, come on. Being copied cats from Dolter or Han? Hmm, I mean, some of them, yes, of course. But if they copied the identity, they still had an identity, right? Fun mode is broken, you can choose one out of three alts to replace one of your standard abilities. You had Gragas and you chose Rengar Ultimate. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like it's literally breaking in the game, yeah. I don't think that's just like a fun mode and nothing else. It sounds ridiculous. Oh no, you sound our spells, okay. 
I mean, having Rengar ultimate instead of Ignite, I mean, sounds like a fair trade, right? The card guy, Twisted Fate. Yeah, the card, like the pick a card guy, yeah, it's kind of cool. He's also like one of the like OG champs, like, it's kind of straightforward, right? Like the newer ones are, I don't know. I mean, some of the newer ones were like still really well made or like creative, but like some others are just, I don't know, man. <laughs> just a bit of the overload. Like everything has a dash, everything has invisibility, everything has, I don't know, like new strength, for example, I don't know, it's kind of a... It looks like a disaster at least to me on paper. I've never like played them though, or like played against them though. And I'm not necessarily like talking about his revive allies on kill thing, right? I don't think that's like the broken ability. And that sounds broken at first, but like the more you think about it, it's not even. It's more like a. It's just like a win war mechanic. Which I don't really like, but it's not that broken either. Oops. Where are we going? and Zhao with Olaf ult. Dude, you can like pick Olaf ultimate on pretty much anything, right? Any melee character, like just pick Olaf ultimate, right? What did I do here? Oh, my pants, I mean, the boots, never mind. Like, Olaf ultimate is just really good on like pretty much any melee character. It's three random, you uh, it's random, okay. And of course it is. It's a fun mode, right? So it wouldn't be fun if it wasn't random. I mean, if it wasn't random, like, you would have, like, nine all of ultimates in your team, or, like, in your and the enemy's team, right? Probably. Leave with J4 ult. It sounds so scuffed, but yeah, it's, it's fun for, like, some games, I guess. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's gonna be fun for some games, for sure. Nazos should have all of the C immunity too. <laughs> I mean, it would be good for him, yes. Can we even play Nasus right now? Or is there just like too much CC in the game? Anyway, we have already done this one as well. Right? We have killed Kronle. Uh, we still haven't found this guy, but oh well. I don't, think, I don't think we're gonna do that quest. I mean, maybe we should do the quest together with the quest of the shopkeeper here, right? Because like having the second shopkeeper is really nice later on. Come, friend. Right to business. Nobody. Come, friend. Old hero, skill 1, stun and damage, skill 2, damage, skill 3, armor, ultimate, big damage. New hero, skill 1, yeah, yeah, and like, wall of attacks, wall of attacks, and like, skill of attacks as well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and like, 69 debuffs. And like, you can press it twice for like, 2% more chance to have 7% more damage. Something like that, right? Yeah. Keep your weapon. Keep your weapon. 
Alright. Oh shit. Ah, oh, fuck me. Oh no. I fucked up. Wow. Oh my god. Walk of shame. <laughs> Not again, dude. Not again. This happened to me yesterday as well, I think. What the fuck? What's wrong with me? How do I keep forgetting that I'm like putting person ports somewhere? It was at this moment that Rectus knew he fucked up. Yeah, exactly. At this moment, he fucked up. Exactly, exactly. I mean, it's not the longest of walks, unfortunately. Uh, not the longest of walks, and it's still fine. Uh, let's get the. Mm, I fucked up again. <laughs> I didn't press my person port. Oh well. Part number three as well. Let's get it, get some XP. Dude, this music is so chill, I love it. The song is one of the best stuff you like from the entire RST. What's the name of this one? The Cliftlands. Let's rewind. Yeah, agree. You think it's also like the best? I mean, I don't really know the tracks that well, but like so far, I think it's the best actually. Yo, day walker, welcome, welcome. You played Octofund for 17 hours and then you read it because you didn't, you couldn't refund after 17 hours anymore. Or what did you regret? What did you regret playing that game? <clears throat> Second favorite. There is one more that's even better. It was a trap, it's 59.99. I mean, if you divide it by your playtime, right, then it sounds like a scam. Like, compared to Grimona, at least. But then again, uh, getting as much value out of your money as you can with ARPGs is, like, kind of hard. But it's kind of unfair to compare those two genres, I guess. What kind of genre is Octopath Threat or even? Just, like, a standard RPG, or...? Never played the game. Like a JRPG, I guess. Turn based JRPG, okay. A weep RPG, basically. Oh, no, no, obviously. I feel like some JRPGs are like really good. But like, most are just grindy and weird. Some are like really, really good. Overall, a very average game, but great soundtrack. Alright, alright. Anybody checked out the Monster Hunter Pokemon game? Wait, the new Monster Hunter game is not like an expansion, it's like a different game or what? 
Like different mode? I have no idea about games. You might be able to tell around. I only know Grim Dawn. <laughs> JRPG as a genre is very love or hate. Mm, my god, I'm dying. Holy shit. What's going on? Why am I dying? Uh, we can't we can't um, sustain the constitution when the mortars are dealing damage, right? Psst. Can I make a mod timeout Dargon? Timeout Dargon fund? Keep slapping you. Slap. Just report him to like Twitch slapping police, right? And he will be detained. Yo, are enough. And sort of how to work one, work one. Also, don't listen to Naomi. You have a lot of hours in there in Octopath Traveler. What, what, what do you do in that game, even? Turn-based? Like, turn-based combat? Like, Final Fantasy? Combat? Like, old-school Final Fantasy combat, or...? It's like Final Fantasy VI, but worse story. I don't even remember which one I played. I played like one Final Fantasy in my life. I don't know which one though. I only played one though. It was like on PlayStation as well, like on PlayStation 1. It might have been like 7 or 6, I don't know. Or maybe like an even, even older one. Uh, which faction should I pick as a conjurer in Forgotten Gods? Does it really matter? Mm. I mean, it doesn't matter that much in the end. However, the faction that you will choose... I mean, you will get like reputation with all of them. Like, all of them will, will like you. However, the one that you choose will like you even more. So you're gonna like get the augments... Like, you're gonna get basically like reputation for the one that you chose quicker than the other two. So, like, you can check out the items that they give you, right? And... Uh... You can like choose maybe the one that you like more, right? Depending on like which kind of items and augments they can give you later. Also, if you were like on your first playthrough, right, and it's like the first time you choose a faction. Um, keep in mind that the second you like choose one of the three, you will already be at like the first. Like, you will already be friendly with the one that you choose, and you're not going to be friendly with the other two, right? The other two are going to be, like, down here with reputation, and the first one that you choose is going to be at friendly, right? Which means that you can already, like, talk to the Quartermaster, and then, like, get the rune augments, like, the, the movement augments, like this one, for example, from the faction Quartermaster of the faction that you chose. So, like, what I'd also like to do is, um, you check out the movement augments, right? before you choose and then like you basically like look at what you want to play right and then you choose the faction 
depending on which movement augment you want to play on it. But I mean, you can like re-choose and higher difficulties anyway, do like different quest lines and so on and so on, right? So it doesn't really like matter that much in the end, like which one you choose. Ah, we speak at last. <laughs> Yo, what a lol. <laughs> 11 in chat. Thanks for the follow, man. Welcome in, welcome in. You liked Oct Octopath Revel a lot. Dude, I don't like my damage though. It's like the one thing that I don't like right now, honestly. Like, I don't like my damage and I don't like that I have to like run around in circles like literally all the time right now. Like, what is happening here? I mean, I know my armor was a sex because of low hurt set. But like, I feel like this was way smoother on Rune of Colors Sword that, than compared to what I'm playing right now, right? Yo, hi hi. Welcome in, welcome in. I actually started Grim Dawn because of one of my guides. Nice. Thanks for watching, man. Also, welcome in, welcome in. Thanks for stepping by as well. We're gonna enjoy your stay here as well as on YouTube watching my videos. And also, yeah, like. <laughs> speed leveling and. <laughs> Come on, we're just still doing okay, right? It's. It's, uh. What, 3 hours 47 minutes to 81? It's not that bad, but yeah, it's certainly worse than what I've played sometimes in past, right? And it's not Cocktail, it's not like Canister Bomb, right? Those are certainly better than what I'm doing right now. Oh my god, I'm dying here. I was like literally dead here if I like charge in that. Um, yep. You predict a rep before 94? Do you wanna bet? Do you wanna gamble? Gamble your blooms? Should we do it? Let's do it. You can gamble away your blooms if you want to. No way, to whom will I die? To a totem maybe? I'm gonna click every totem right? To make it more interesting, I'm gonna click every single totem that we see. I'm not gonna, not gonna like go for locks. I'm just gonna speed level the way I usually do. Like do all totems, but like don't chase locks or stuff like that. 
where did all the void projectiles go? They're all on ballistic plating in the chest, kappa. <laughs> you can't get to 100% without Inquisitor's Seal? Lol. I mean, just play Inquisitor's Seal then, right? Like, why not? Like, um, infiltrator then. Permanent and seal. It's not bad, right? It's not bad. Alright, we can rip to this guy, for example. We can rip to Icrix. And Anoronica, you can. You can rip to the poison on the ground here, because it's dealing physical damage for some reason. Physical poison, right? Yo, amazing Loki, work on, work on. Uh, we're gonna go sell again. Yet again. You got a feeling that lightning mortar trap deals more damage? I'll give you a good price of what I've got left. Are there like items for it there, like while leveling? I've looked at like leveling items for Locut, I mean for Mortar Trap, right? There's nothing. Right? There's just nothing. Apart from the soft hand. Uh, it's like so badly supported by leveling, I feel like. I don't know. Uh, what are you talking about? Pyro versus Shipbreaker? On, on which build there? <clears throat> we went with Vanish, seemed cool. Yeah. I mean, Vanish is one of the. Uh, I mean, it's probably like the best. Or like speed running, uh, and also like for speed leveling. If you're like doing a proper speed leveling, <laughs> not like a kind of scuffed speed leveling that I'm not doing right now. Right? If you're like playing proper speed leveling skills, then Vanish is like the best for like speed, right? But you can't really like use it defensively. It's like the big downside. Do a wield blaze art. Oh, you mean like fire strike, like melee fire strike? And you're debating she breaker versus pyromancer. Hmm. I mean, the weapon has Chaos to Fire conversion, right? I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of on the Pyromancer side right now. At least in my mind. I'm gonna re-apply the XP potion, right? <laughs> yeah, no man, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Daily tribute. Welcome, my man. How are you? <laughs> Daily sacrifice has been made. Are you? Uh, are you guys still having fun in Burning Crusade? Uh, you and Malagant?
bit too far as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know, like... I would probably go... Iron Man Syria. Yeah. Seems like so good. Like, all oh, the conversion, right? You can, like, take Bant anyway on top, right? I don't know. I mean, Shipbreaker is overall, like, a very good class, though. Like, it's very, very good. Pyromancer was like a worse class, but Blazard really lo does make uh, Pyromancer look very, very appealing. Yep, but rank three on a boss last week, nice. Congrats, congrats. Hopping hard, many scrubs, many scrubs in your guild. Just, just carry them and just carry the scrubs. Oh my god, no damage build, ZDPS. <laughs> like the mortars and guardians while leveling. Wait, where are the guardians even? Oh, no wonder I'm doing no damage. Holy shit. Well, waiting for next raid. I'm lacking one item for my full best in slot build. Nice, nice. What are you even playing, by the way? I know Malagan is playing like a warrior, but what are you playing? Ellie Shaman. Oh, nice. Wow, TBC Doc Leave. <laughs> the Pain Crusade. The Pay to Boost Crusade. And he's on top 3 damage, not down. Uh, I'm going to link by Thomas Sun. Do you, do you mind waiting until 94? Are you going to have more time or should we do it right now? We don't have to talk to these guys, we already know what to do. Right? I'm okay waiting, okay. Uh, that's gonna be like a five and a half hour leveling, I think, right? Which is actually quicker than Color Store, but it's just quicker than Color Store because we like wasted like an hour almost like farming. What's it called? Like the Flame Strife, which I didn't even need. Her. No, 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 is this damage? How's balance on TPC by the way? Is mage as OP as in vanilla or that's OP? I have no idea about WoW, I like, like, literally never, never played that game. And I probably never will either. I only know that like mages in vanilla are like OP OP. TP is just Omega low. PvP and MMOs, oh my god lol. What draw number right now is this? Must be 100 soon? Dude, I don't even know anymore. I mean, I can check, I guess, after this one is done. But yeah, 100 chars, but all the ones that already died? I mean, maybe, yeah. Be like char n number 100 already. With all the seasonal characters as well, right? All the league characters. Probably not. Uh, it's this one? Not your favorite? Wait. 
I thought you were talking about your favorite one earlier. What do you mean? This is the one favorite one that's not your favorite. Huh? I don't understand. Wait, is this like your favorite one or not your favorite one? I don't understand. Mechanics in a game, what? I mean, yeah, the more people know stuff, like the easier the content gets as well, right? I also like it's way. I mean, of course, like, during TBC, it was already, like, easy to, like, look up stuff at the end, like, look up stuff at the end of the internet, right? But I feel like nowadays people, like, do it even more. And, like, looking up stuff and, like, guides online, etc. Like, everything has been, like, way more streamlined compared to, like, back in the old days, right? I mean, this is the one. I do like it, but it's not your favorite. Probably third or fourth. Favorite, okay, okay. What about this one? This one's not too bad either. By the way, Toma, I don't want any spoilers, but are you working on new music for the next season? You know what the right answer is gonna be? Right answer should be perhaps, right? Perhaps, perhaps. Alright, we should do like full clear of Tyrant Soul here, like at least full quest clear because yeah, quests and ultimate are. Why would I have so fast in the first place? Yeah, Rift Reef private server. Yeah, she 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 wants to like play fucking Diablo 3 1.0 since like two weeks already. She even bought a PS3 to be able to like play 1.0.0.2 Diablo 3. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> It's just... I'm sorry, like, if it wasn't so funny, I wouldn't be bullying so much, but it's so fucking funny. <laughs> A lot of girls like to be masochistic. Yeah, I mean, literally everybody told her to like not fucking 
buy a PS3 to buy Diablo 3 1.0 man. <laughs> but I mean she couldn't be stopped. She couldn't be stopped. There she is playing Diablo 3 in it on the PS3. Real money auction house. You missed the PC refunded? Oh, come on. You would miss the money more. Fuck. Maybe. Oh my god, you got children by this guy, which doctor? bought us PS3 once, but that was three years, I mean nine years ago. Mm. Alright, been there, done that. Did all of this crap as well. Let's go to homes. That actually no, we don't go to Homestead, we go to Gulch first and then we go, go, go to Homestead, right? First we always get Agrum, right? Fetch Agrum. Talk to the scum as well, Koda. So how doomed are we? <laughs> yeah, my old uh, PS2 from like 15... No, like probably 17 years ago, still is working as well, but... I mean... It's kinda old, and like, I don't really use it anymore. I kinda miss the... The time frame... When you could like sell them for... Proper money. I wasn't sure you'd... On All right, 15 points there. Let's just get um, probably more away here in presence of virtue, right? Or maybe max out ascension as well. Wouldn't be too bad. Get more defense, right? Get more absorption. You get a build with 100% avoid projectiles, 59% melee dodge, 2.7k cold damage. 131% RR with wiper? No, no, without wiper. You don't. You don't ever count wiper. Um, all right, seems good. Don't you ever count wiper? That's kind of wiper is literally like zero against most enemies. Uh, like it only matters against like actually high res enemies, right? Oh, not counting what really. Oh, without. Wait, didn't you? You said with. Well, yeah. but you corrected yourself. Okay. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Without what? Okay. Yo, third eye shooter, welcome, welcome. On. What is my native language? I mean, you can take a guess if you want to. But I mean, my accent is pretty, pretty bad, right? So you should be able to tell. I guess. I look French, cop. <laughs> I'm just a little loud, right? Must be Russian. Monkas. Why, why, why is Russian Monkas? My binary. My, my native language is binary code. I wish, dude, I wish. That would actually be Pog. I can imagine it. Would make things easier. Like some things at least. My accent isn't really that bad. I mean, it's not like bad, bad, but you can like still like, tell where I'm from, I guess, if you like. Pay for pretension. But I guess it's also like kind of hard sometimes because I do have like a Scandinavian touch as well. 
So it's a little bit of a mix. You can hear it, but it's not that thick. Not that thick. <laughs> no thick accent. No yoke. <laughs> yeah. Are you joking? What do you mean? Are you joking? What class does we run to Ultimate Act 4? Dungeon. Ska vi göra dungeon? Dungeon? <laughs> um, I don't know. What, what, what do you mean? What class does we run to Ultimate Act 4? Like any. Just do whatever you want to. You figured I'm Mexican? Either German or Swedish slash Danish? Dude, you couldn't have been more correct. I'm German, but I have lived in Sweden for some time of my life. So yeah, I have like a Swedish... Like a small touch of Swedish accent in there maybe as well. But yeah, I'm German. Yeah, I mean, perfect. Perfect guess, third eye shooter. Literally perfect guess, actually. And you win, um, I guess, nothing, but hey, I mean, still perfect guess. Uh, what class can start an ultimate? You mean... Wait, is that what Stan asked as well? Swedes do speak perfect English though. Culturally very, very rich. I mean, they, they, they do speak very good English, but they also have a very distinct accent. That's uh, mostly when they say like... The j sound, like they don't really say the j sound, right? they always say a j sound, so. like, are you joking? They say, are you joking? So, are you joking? And if they, like, let their accent flow, you know? It's not like everybody who is, like, a Spanish, I mean, a uh, Spanish, a Swedish naked speaker uh, doesn't know how to, like, properly say joking. I mean, of course, many people do know how to, like, properly say it. But it's... Oh my god, dude. Poison. Go away, please. Thank you. I can't say J, yeah. Because, like... The J letter is like a E letter. Like a Y, kind of. In their language. I mean, it's... A little bit similar in German as well, actually. But in German, the Y letter is like the J sound, so... Like, basically in German, compared to English, like, J and Y are, like, switch around. Like, J is like Y and Y is like J. So, like, if you write yes, and if a German, like, pronounces that the German way, then it would be Jess, right? Jess. Instead of yes. And, like, if we were to, like, write yes, the way we pronounce it, we would write it with a J, right? Yeah, like, yes, exactly like that. <laughs> Gerald. <laughs> Gerald. <laughs> it's fucking locked. Oh shit, I need one more. Alright, alright. Uh, which one did I miss? I mean, one of the two, it doesn't matter which one. I just missed one. Inixil, I guess. Geralt, quick. Cherot. Cher Cherot. Wait, did I miss the other guy as well? Oh my god, really? Why are they hiding? I also speak German and lived near the border to Denmark a few years. Oh, nice. <laughs> Wait, so you're Danish?
or how the Swedish would say, Edwin Danskevel. Uh, one can see that you are a Grundon veteran doing those quests perfectly. Yeah, yeah. I know, like, it's flawless, right? Flawless quests here. Flawless questing. Where do I live in Germany? Um... Exclamation mark only fans of Snapchat. Plasma Strike also almost like made me get Snapchat finally because like you and Plasma are like snapping it to each other it every now and then. Like he told me about that and I was like, yeah, maybe I should actually get it. I still haven't gotten it though. All day every day? Yeah, all day every day, right? All day every day. Like once a month, I know, but... Like once a year, probably. <laughs> but still. <laughs> yeah. From Darmstadt? Nice. That's nice. Yeah, it's like still uh, Württemberg, right? Like at the Rhine. Almost, uh, almost Hessen, right? Not quite. It's Hessen already? Wait, is it already Hessen? I don't know. I always fuck up the region of the of of the map. Like Hessen, 
Baden-Württemberg, I don't know, it's like... At least, like, when it comes to this, like, northern area of uh, Württemberg or, like, southern Hessen area. It's like one part of the Rhine is like this, the other part of the Rhine is that. I don't know. It's, it's confusing. For my, Bavar Bav for my Bavarian brain, right? Like, we don't know any neighbors. What is this? We're like our own country, right? Kappa. <laughs> At least not Offenbach. <laughs> I feel like all the good things about Offenbach Cup. Attack, why no burn the witch? Burn the witch, what? It's Hessen? Yeah, my bad. My bad. Oh my god. I'm not very good with like German geography to be honest. I mean I was actually good at geography like in school as a kid, but like I don't know. I'm not that well with Germany, like not that well within Germany I guess. When do we get Grim Dawn 2? When you apply for place when you apply for playtesting, right? When they see you as a playtester for Grimdon 2, they're gonna be hell yeah, let's just do it instantly. Right? Alright, I said we're gonna do all the totems, right? No matter how deadly they are, so let's do it. Ah, it's not even that rip right? No arcane, no, no swift, no time warped. There's one more down here. Okay, we're gonna do the one down there as well then. Did I find the farmers? No, not yet. I got four... No. Five... Wait, which one is it? This one. Oh, we got five, right? Okay, we got five with the insignias. We gotta kill Bolvar if I haven't already. And here are the farmers, actually. Time Robot is the worst shot. The thing is, like, while leveling, I feel like the Swift one is also really bad, actually. Because, like, Swift speeds up, like, everybody around him, right? And if you're playing low car, right? Uh, uh, you don't wanna face thing anything. At least not when you, like, play without any healing either. Like, Motor Trap. I also have still 53% I mean, Pierce Thrust. Pierce Rust is optional, right? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not. Demo's cheating? Wait, why is Demo cheating now? Because of Blast Shield? Because of Mortars? Everything is optional, just don't get hit? Yeah. Exactly, right? Exactly. Blast shit, OP, OP. I mean, yeah. I remember the difference between a druid and a sorcerer when you fight Fabius, right? I guess the difference is called Blast Shield. Or the difference is called uh, getting hit, right? Not quite sure which one was the actual difference then. I remember. I remember. Remember? Are you gonna play Season 3? No manual. Season 3 Hardcore Solo Sephond?
Only a purifier had blast shield. Yeah, I know that. I mean, my current one seems to have blast shield. The other ones that I played before didn't have blast shield for some reason. I don't know. Alright, another totem. Actually, we forgot the one. Oops, I, I forgot one. Okay, here we got swift, right? Oh my god, yeah, we got swift. Just level up, lol. <laughs> also, where are my clusters, dude? Cluster is cheap. Is it there? Swift rip. You gotta go to the store, close in 23 minutes. Alright, dude. Happy running. Yeah, we, we actually forgot about one totem here, right? This one though, we, over here. I'm only gonna backtrack here because of the. I mean, like, generally you shouldn't backtrack like this, but I'm gonna backtrack here because of the um, bet that we're gonna have, like. We have on right now, right? Hide in the store and eat the food in the night. Nice. And I said I'm gonna like click on all the totems. So let's click on this one as well. Blast shield is down, Monka. Should we wait for Blast Shield? Ah, this one was easy anyway, right? No act 6 or 7 or 5 mobs, right? Actually, the Obsidian guys deal pierce damage though, and they have 53% pierce rest, so um, those could be actually scary though. How about we do a Celeste Totem? How about we don't do anything fancy that I don't do when I'm usually spell leveling either? It's like saying, how about we do Locksmere, right? Like, come on, dude. But you said you're gonna do all the totems. Actually, a lock smear would be sick. Sick. Double K. Just get pierce runs? Yeah, just get it, right? Just get it. If you're watching at home, right? Like, just get it. So, why am I not leveling with that? Why do I have scuffed devotions? Like, really scuffed devotions? Actually, scuffed devotions? Pierce runs potion? <laughs> it's like the one. I think that doesn't exist actually. This is not Pierce Rust though, right? Fuck. There's Pierce Rust over here and here and here, but that's for axes only. And here. Poison Rust? Vit Rust? Do I need a Poison Rust? I mean. I could actually. Actually, right. I could just play Throne, I guess, for some Pierce Rats. And then what? Play this. I mean, why not, right? Why not? So, 61% at least. We're still basically taking like double damage from Pierce, right? It is kind of risky to play like this. You don't do Locksmith while leveling, is that even legal? Is that even legal? Can he nullify XP pots still? He can't, right? How 
I almost said it has pierced with weapon element. Oh yeah, true actually, true. I mean, you can get it after Keras, right? 